Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the Product Specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you about the 2018 Winnebago Mini 2500 RL. This particular model has the cherry red exterior with the graphite interior. I really like this floor plan because it's a short, lightweight couples coach. You still have a nice big slide and a couch. The other cool thing is right over here in the kitchen, you see you have a ton of countertop space there, which I love. Gives you a lot of prep space, just something you don't see very often, again, in a shorter model. But right here is your fridge-freezer combo. You can take a look at that. Uh, you'll see you do have a cutout here for a little more, a little taller items there that you can slide right in. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Right next to that is your microwave with your hood having a light and fan there. Your three burner cooktop with a cover. That way you can go ahead and utilize this as prep space. When we bring that up, you'll see that reveals your three burner cooktop, the front one there being high output. And then underneath is an oven in case you want to do some baking. Right next to that is your double bowl stainless steel sink with a high rise faucet. Nice big window there too, a lot bigger than you see again in a lot of uh, models this size. And that really lets in a lot of light and allows you to take a view out to your campsite. Underneath here, you have three full extension ball bearing drawers. You'll see those are nice and big. So not only do you have room for your silverware, but you have room for some of your bigger utensils like spatulas and serving spoons. Then right underneath here, you'll see not only do you have storage, but you also have your two sink top covers. So again, I was talking about big countertop space. You can see how you're able to utilize this entire space here for a uh, prep surface. Then right over in the corner, you do have an electrical outlet. So it's a great place to plug in your coffee maker. You also see you have this big cubby hole here. Uh, so, you know, if you want to fit some snacks and stuff down there, you can. Heck, it's easy access while watching TV, grab, you know, reach over, grab some chips, whatever. But that is just a nice storage area there. You have storage all along the top here too. Uh, I would personally, of course, use this for pantry space as well. And then in the back here, probably do something else, maybe board games or again, whatever else you feel fitting to put up there. But it is good extra storage. Windows in the back here, you have the big one right along the back. So you are able to get a good view if you're able to back up to lakefront, something like that. Of course, the one over here to the side, both letting in lots of natural light. Jackknife sofa along the very back too. Uh, I like this because as I mentioned, it does give a great view to the TV. And you know, if you want something to put your feet on, you can buy like the little pods and stuff they have that are easily maneuverable. So you can just throw your feet up or whatever. But this does drop down into a bed too. So if you have additional guests, you have a place that they can stay. Also, you'll see underneath you have big storage, but the cool thing about the Winnebago, take a look at this. You can just grab the handle, it drops right down, has the piano hinge there, so it's super easy to access. Uh, for me, a lot of times on jackknife sofa, that's where I put all my extra bedding, my pillows, my blankets, whatever. Uh, that's a great place to stuff it, is right underneath there. Now, as I promised, this unit does have a slide. You can see it has a big slide-out dinette. Cool thing about the dinette, is it has plenty of room for four people. So if you do have guests, you all want to uh, eat a meal together inside, maybe it's raining outside, this is a great place to do it. The table does drop down into a bed too. So again, if you need that sleeping space, now you'll see it's not a huge bed as far as length, uh, but it is great for a smaller child or if you need to set up a pack and play, you know, you can drop that down, put the cushions on, put the pack and play right there on top, uh, but it does give you that versatility. Windows all around that as well, again, to let in that natural light. Uh, if you take a look at the ceiling here, a couple quick things I want to talk about. LED lights all the way down. LED lights are great because they use a fraction of the power and they don't put out near the heat. Ducted AC here as well, so it'll stay nice and cool even on the hot days. Speakers here in the ceiling too. And then right here is entertainment center. You do have some storage right up top. TV, of course, in the center. Right down below is your Jensen Multimedia Center. That is your radio, CD, and DVD player if you want to watch a movie. Additional electrical outlet that is a GFI outlet. Uh, so this is kind of multi-purpose. If you have like an Xbox or something you want to plug in, you can do it there. But also if you're sitting right here at the dinette, you need to plug in a laptop or tablet, that's a great spot to do it. Then you'll see storage right there <coughs> underneath as well. On the other side of the refrigerator, you have some good extra storage. You'll see that right up top. Then down low here, you have multiple shelves, as well as your control panel for your slide out, your awning lights, and then your tank monitoring panel is there as well. 
Right across the way, you have the thermostat here, the bathroom. Uh, and one of the things I always like to talk about on the Winnebago's are the doors. They have some of the best doors in the industry. They're actually framed out in wood. I'm telling you, every Winnebago door that I've used, it opens and closes really nice. It doesn't pop open, it's actually true, it's square. Mm -hmm. And I know it seems minor, but it just goes to show you the quality that Winnebago is putting in their product. Now as you come into the bathroom, you'll see right down here in the corner is your foot flush lever toilet. Obviously you have plenty of room all the way around. You have a heater right there on the floor too, so that way if it is cold, you can stay nice and toasty. Right over to the side is the Neo Angle shower. Uh, you have big doors on here. That I like the doors because they're in the roller track, which is great, so all the water stays right down in the shower pan. Of course you have the hand wand there, skylight up top too. Over across the way here, you see the sink top and the vanity. You have the stainless steel bowl, nice upgraded quality components, electrical outlet, storage underneath, and you have additional mirrored medicine cabinet up top. The bedroom of the 2500 RL does have a queen size bed, and you'll see you have good storage here underneath, the strut supported. Uh, that's our propane tank cover. It's the way the manufacturer ships it. Propane tanks are right there in the box. But as you can see, it definitely is a good size storage area. And the bed comes up nice and high, so it's easy to reach down in here. A lot of times, the bed doesn't uh, get nearly that high. It's hard to reach items. Not the case right in the Winnebago here. Uh, also on both sides of the bed, you'll see you have a shelf space. So if you need to have a glass of water at night or cell phone, maybe a CPAP machine, you're able to put that on either side of the bed. And you have a plug-in right down there as well. Right above that, you have wardrobes on both sides of the bed, so uh, plenty of space to hang your clothes. LED reading light, storage here across the top. On the ceiling, you'll see there is a vent as well with uh, windows on both sides. That way, if you need to cross breeze, open up the windows, open that guy up, and you can get that through here without turning on the AC. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2018 Winnebago Mini 2500 RL. This one has the cherry red exterior with the graphite interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.